What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. I'm going to go over some recent openings that I did today. Mostly Hot Wheels. Um, one Mini GT in this Matchbox here, but almost everything's Hot Wheels today. So <clears throat> We'll start off with this uh, Matchbox 1970 Datsun 510 Rally. This is my second variation of this car. I think it's really cool with all the gear on the top. Looks awesome. I don't know how many there are of this car, but I really like it. I'd like to do a custom on one of these someday. And I get an extra one. <clears throat> but it's a pretty cool car. All that gear up there to do. Look at that. That's awesome. Nice little Datsun. Matchbox is a good job with this car. Really like that car. You can do a lot of detailing on it. You got lights to detail all over the place. The rack on the top. So this is going to be a fun car to mess with. Might even just wheel swap this and detail this one up. Thinking about it. But pretty cool. Okay, next up, we got some Hot Wheels. 69 Camaro, convertible. This beautiful blue metallic. I don't have too many Camaro convertibles. I think I only have one besides these two. That I'm going to show maybe two more. But they were a buck, so why not? The colors I liked on them. Beautiful metallic paint on this one. Got the gray interior. The steering wheel isn't even really that bad. It has a little bit of detail in it. At least it's not that round disc. But that's a beautiful metal flake in that car. Very nicely done. Nice interior too. Okay, and now we have another one in this beautiful green color. With a nice green interior. Doesn't look too bad with this car. Nice car. Very nice. Has a beautiful metallic green paint on this car. I had to grab them, they look so nice. So, we have two more Camaros for the collection. Next up, we got a Surf Crate Treasure Hunt. This is a casting I somewhat collect. I mean, I grab them if I can find them cheap. I think I got this Treasure Hunt for three bucks, two bucks, three bucks, something like that. So, I snagged it. I like the color pattern on it. I think it's pretty cool. I like this car. Even though it's a fantasy casting, I like the shape of it. I think I have about half a dozen of them now. Something like that. But it's an interesting design for sure. <clears throat> Those little skinny tires in the front. Surfboard out the back, which is cool. Some graphics on the top I can show you. Pretty nice. I like it. Next up, we have a 37 Ford. This isn't the Woody one that's out for Hot Wheels. That's very popular. It's the 37 Ford Woody. This is a little bit different. This is also a treasure hunt. You can see the symbol right there. I think I have two or three variations of the 37 Ford. The other ones are 40s Woodies. 
very cool casting. I love it. Beautiful light blue metallic color on this one. Almost like a teal color. For a couple bucks, why not? Quick look there. Nice paint job. Nice graphics on the top. I love these. So cool. And the front's done too, so that's great. So Very nicely done. Treasure hunt. Wish they made regular treasure hunts like that now. But they don't. Next up, we got a Ford Shelby GT GR1 concept. I've been finding a lot of these lately and collecting them. I think I have four or five now. I'm going to put a fan on here for a little bit because it's hot in here. Hot day in New York today. No humid, no humidity, but about 86 degrees, so a little warm. Yeah, this is Chrome. Uh, Charles from Charles Diecast Garage sent this to me. So this is awesome. So I have about three of these, I think, of the GR1 concepts. Three or four, I don't remember. They're pretty cool. I like the shape of it and the design of it. that and then we have the Daytona Coupe the Shelby Cobra Daytona this one I love this casting I know Charles loves this casting too beautifully shaped casting this was in a five pack that I recently got the Shelby five pack an older five pack that I bought that I got for basically retail the guy sold it for so it was great so I have about seven or eight of these now this one's really nice. The red color is nice. I like the spare tire in the back. Looks cool. I love just the back end shape of that car. It just looks awesome. Got the side pipes. Very nicely done car. <clears throat> no metallic. I don't believe in this paint. Eh, maybe a little. Very little. Pretty cool. And then we got a 2010 Ford Mustang, Ford Shelby. This one's pretty cool. I don't go too much for the later Camaros, uh, Mustangs, but they have a cool pattern. I don't care. This one I think looks pretty cool with the blue and the orange. I'm, I'm thinking that I have this already, but I'm going to have to check through them all and see. My kid mostly likes the newer Mustangs. He collects a lot of those. This will be going with his, but I have to see if he has this already. But it's a really nice color pattern. You got the little Cobra symbol right there, and the white right there, GT500 underneath it. Pretty cool. That was another one in the five pack, and then this beauty was in the five pack, 67. That's my favorite one out of the five pack. This car is beautiful. I have a ton of these 67, 68, 65s. Love it. And this beautiful green. Beautiful color with the black stripes. Looks great. Five spoke chrome. Black interior, beautiful car. Love it. Okay, and then another one for the five pack was this Shelby Cobra 427 with an opening hood. Plastic base though, no metal base on this one. This one's really sweet, too. Very nice. I 
nice yellow metallic. And the opening hood is always great to have. Another nice Cobra for the collection. And then the final car that was in that five pack is this 69 Shelby GT500. I have about three or four of this casting. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Damn roll bar in the back. This is a beautiful black metallic color. I'm too crazy about the orange interior, but it's not that bad. color nice metallic color very nicely done color interior is really nice too another one that doesn't have just a disc for a steering wheel it's really nicely done gray base not too bad all right guys now we got a real beauty coming up next Beautiful 50s Chevy Real Riders from the Real Riders set. This thing is gorgeous, this color. What a beautiful truck. This opens, but it doesn't stay open. It closes right away, so. Which is fine, I don't care. Beautiful Real Riders. Beautiful white walls on those Real Riders. This thing is just beautiful. I don't have any castings like this. This is my first one. I don't know how many they've ever made. No clue. Never seen it before until I bought this one. But I love it. You know what? Actually, let's take this off now. Because so we got cars with real riders now coming up. And we can get a better look. I like it better on the reflective background. That's nice. Beautiful truck. Hmm. I have a whole bunch of new cases coming in for the wall. I had to do it. Um, the four of the the mass car, M A S C A R. Um, I ordered them right from their website. If you guys ever want to check them out, I'll show you when I'm all done. I'm gonna have the room all done when they come in. Will take a few hours, but I'm gonna take all my other cases off the wall and rearrange them and fit these in and do the whole room up. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of that when I'm done. When the cases come in, they should be in here by the end of the week, next week, something like that. But this will be going in it. This is freaking beautiful. Real riders. Beautiful truck. Okay, two more to go, guys. And I got this on order because I never found it in the stores. It was the C8R. Love this casting Corvette from the American Scene set. I'd love to get the chase of this one. I'd love to get the chase on all of the sets that came out, but this one especially would be sick. And that Lamborghini coming out, and that other set looks awesome, but I'm lucky I find a set. I worry about the damn chase. Can't even find that. I didn't want this whole set though. I only wanted the Chevelle, which I did find on the pegs, and this vet. I didn't need the Hellcat or the stupid Tesla or whatever the heck the other that weird looking bronco looking thing i didn't want any of those i just wanted these two cars so i got them i love this casting so we've seen this in premium i believe in the the um 
you call those things? The truck and trailer there. It's skipping my mind right now. Highway hauler sets there. I never see those anymore around here either. You used to see them all the time here. We don't get those no more either. There's not even a spot in the pegs for them anymore. Walmart used to have them constantly. That's gone too. Whatever. It's no big deal on those. And then lastly, we have the Mini GT C8R. I'll compare the two when this is done. So I have this in the number four livery, and I also have this in the number three yellow. This is number three gray and red. And this one came with a couple quality issues, which I was surprised for Mini GT. This fin came off. It was loose in the package. I just had to glue it on. Shoving the whole glue on, not a big deal. And the, we got a wonky wheel on this. You can see it. It's bouncing up and it rolls perfect. Well, usually you don't have that, so. Nothing major, but I was just surprised. Um, the mirrors are rubber, even though they're big. They're still rubber mirrors. Um, beautiful car. Um, let me get the number four down. Give me a moment, I'll show you. So there's the number three. This is the number four that came out. Which is really cool. Both awesome cars. So I wasn't gonna buy the number three because they're kind of close. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but it was such a good price, I grabbed it. It was under what I could get it for, where I usually buy them, so I took it. But now I'm glad I did, because they look awesome together. And then you have, we'll keep the three up there. And you have this yellow, number three. Actually, this must be the one that's the opposite for that one. Yeah, yes. I'm thinking it goes with that gray one, but they look like the opposites. That's yellow and gray, and that's gray and yellow. So, pretty cool. Awesome casting by Mini GT, like always. Still looks sweet. So when you want to compare them, we'll put the one up we just got. I mean, and the uh, Hot Wheels one. The Hot Wheels one is really not bad for five bucks. I mean, you're paying double for the other one, a little more than double for the Mini GT. Uh, you can see that they're both C8Rs. I mean, the, the mirrors on the Hot Wheels one stink because they're so small. Um, the fin's a lot different. It's really not a bad model at all for five bucks, in my opinion. I love the wheels on the core of that one. I really do. They really stand out. On the Hot Wheels one, I mean. So, that'll do it for me, guys, in this video. That's all I got for today. Um, thanks again for all the comments and the likes. Um, everybody take care. And have a great night.